Well, thank you so much, Jim, and thank you everybody for coming out. I appreciate the attendance. Um, I'm going to start today's presentation with a little lesson in history. Um, I'm holding a copper coin in my hand. Does anybody recognize this coin? It's a penny. Which president is on the penny? Lincoln. So the reason I bring this up is on July 2nd, 150 years ago, Lincoln signed a piece of legislation that is extremely important to the, the function of the land grant colleges, one of which is the University of Wyoming. 150 years ago, President Lincoln signed the Morrill Act. I will also point this out because behind the registration desk is a small poster about the Morrill Act. The reason that we are sitting here today is the University of Wyoming, uh, actually it started before the state, was the state, the territory, elected to take advantage of that federal legislation and create a four-year college. And that college would focus on agriculture and mechanical arts. So the reason that we have a College of Agriculture and now Agriculture and Natural Resources goes back to that 150 years ago when Lincoln signed the Morrill Act. 25 years later, the, the legislation that's also important, especially relevant to, the, to today, is known as the Hatch Act. The Hatch Act provides capacity dollars to institutions that are part of the land-grant system to provide research support for our agriculture research and states that, that took advantage of that particular act were able to develop branch stations. You're sitting at one of the branch stations today. Okay, so very historical year, 150 year celebration of the Morrill Act, 125 years of the, the Hatch Act. Uh, let's fast forward to today. I won't, I won't spend the rest of the time, Jim. Uh, you know, there's always a danger in handing an administrator a microphone, and I, I'll try to avoid that danger today. Uh, let's fast forward to today, because as I mentioned, the, the Morrill Act established the land grant. The land grant was to focus on agriculture, and mechanical arts. I'm proud to report to you that word is we have once again broken another record high enrollment in the College of Agriculture and Natural Resources. We now have 1,031 students enrolled in our college. So in addition to celebrating 150 years, we're celebrating record enrollment. And there's another reason that I brought up the Hatch Act, and that is because two researchers led an effort from our college to receive the largest extramural award that's ever been awarded to the University of Wyoming. Uh, we received a $20 million grant to, from EPSCOR to focus on uh, water and watershed management. So it's kind of a historical time for us. We're celebrating 150 years of, of our establishment. We're celebrating 125 years of the Agriculture Experiment Station. We're celebrating record time enrollment and also uh, some research to celebrate along those lines as well. Uh, before I turn the floor over, I just want to recognize a couple people. I had another challenging question and then it, when I arrived here, I realized that what I was going to ask may not be uh, what I had planned. I want to know who thinks they traveled the furthest today to be at this field day, or who, not necessarily just in today's travel, but who comes from the furthest distance away to represent here at the field day? I'm from Windrock, Arizona. Windrock, Arizona? Windrock. Window Rock. Belfast and Ireland. Ireland? Okay. So we have now gone international, and then lastly, we have a visiting scientist from uh, down in Mexico, Chimpigo. So we, today is a, a truly international event. Thank you for traveling all the way here to come to our field day. Uh, we do appreciate it. And then one last thing I, I do want to recognize, uh, it, this is uh, something that's near and dear to me, and that is to recognize the people that preceded me and uh, 
helped establish the experiment station and make it an effective unit uh, that it is today. In the third row here, we have Colin Kaltenbach, who was a, a director in the early 80s. Uh, and then I saw Jim Jacobs wandering around here, uh, always hiding in the back. Jim Jacobs is in the back. I, I just want to say thank you for everything that you guys have done and uh, appreciate you guys leaving the experiment station in as good of a shape as it, as it is. So enjoy your day. Thanks so much.